All right, finding volume of revolution. Suppose we have this uh, uh, functions, these two functions given by their graphs, y equal x squared, y equal x squared, and uh, y equal 3x squared minus 2. We need to find uh, the volume generate of the generated solid, which is uh, revolved uh, about the y, sorry, about the uh, x equal 1. Revolved about x equal 1 uh, in two different methods. First, using washer method, then using shell method. All right. It's, uh, this is very simple problem, but we need to know how to identify the terms we need to work with. Uh, first, the, it's clear, the shaded region is very clear. It's included between y equal x squared and y equal 3x squared minus 2, and it's all given. Whether If, if it's given, that's okay. If, if it is not given, we need to find this point by using this curve, 3x squared minus 2 equal x squared, right? And by taking also the points of intercept that intercepts the x-axis, the y-axis, I'm sorry, right? <clears throat> now, uh, let's start with washer method. Let's start with the washer method. Washer method, uh, we need to find the volume using washer, right? One washer method. We need to find the volume using the washer. Volume equal integral from negative 2, let's use the y-axis, right? From negative 2 to 1, right? They intersect with <coughs> It's, it's between this curve and that curve and the y-axis, right? And the y-axis, all right? So they intersect over here, over here, and over here. We have three points, okay? From minus 2 to 0, from minus 2 to 0, union or plus from 0 to 1, right? So let's start. From minus 2 to 0, it's a pi r squared big R square minus small R square, the outer radius minus the inner radius. All right, that's that's great. So it's, uh, what is the outer radius? Since it rotates around this straight line, x equal 1, I'm talking about from minus 2 to 0, the outer radius is going to be, the outer radius, the bigger radius is going to be 1, right? So it's pi, r square right a pi r square minus the other radius the inner radius the inner radius is going to be this radius that makes the whole right that's why it's called washer method this is the small radius and this is the outer radius right okay let's uh, let's write the formula <coughs> uh, it should be right integral it should be integral the volume is integral from a to b pi r square x minus r square x dx or y dy <coughs> or in terms of y but right, here we are working in terms of y the bigger radius the outer radius is one the inner radius is all one, all one, subtracted from it, this curve, right? This curve between this curve and the y-axis. This means it's going to be, all right, one minus, what is this curve, which is y equal 3, x squared minus 2, if we take it in terms of y, as a function of x in terms of y. So 3x squared is equal to y plus 2, this means that x squared is equal to y plus 2 divided by 3. That means x equal two cases to be considered, either plus or minus radical y plus 2 over 3. We took only the plus <clears throat> because I'm talking about the part of the curve, which is to the 
right of y axis so it is positive part the other part of the curve is the negative part so we are not talking about that so it's minus <coughs> it's one minus this small r of x it's all hold the whole one minus this part of the curve which is minus radical y plus 2 over 3 all square dy plus integral from 0 uh, from uh, yeah uh, we, we took from the part which is from minus 2 to 0 now the part from 0 to 1 this part from 0 to 1 according to also washer method <clears throat> it's simply pi into what is the uh, bigger radius the outer radius the outer radius over here is all this right from this part to that part the red one is the outer radius and this part is one one minus this curve it's the whole one the distance from one to y axis taking out this part what left is this red part right so it is one minus simply it is one minus this part square what is this part y equal x square y equal x square this means that x equal plus or minus radical y i just took the positive part same as we did in the other one because it's the part of the curve to the right of the y axis this part is to the left of part uh, of the y axis so it will be minus radical y this means it's one minus radical y square again the outer radius is the whole one the distance from y axis to this x equal 1 because it rotates around x equal 1 right minus this part over here to have this outer radius so this part over here is this curve is the distance between this curve and the y-axis which is radical y minus minus uh, <coughs> the other part the inner radius square dy what is the inner radius the inner radius is let's make it in blue the inner radius is this part over here simply this part over here what is this part this small or this part over here right what is this part this part is the whole one the whole one minus all this part the distance from the curve y equal 3x square minus 2 and the y-axis this means it is 1 minus 1 minus we took the curve where we have it as a function of x in terms of y and that's it <clears throat> that's it when we found these two integrals we are going to get the answer let's um, let's do the shell method and then i will go again to uh, do in another video maybe uh, to, to do this part over here let's let's uh, see if we can do it by shell method i don't know if we have time but let's start over here shell method shell method okay it's also simple it's simpler even the volume is let's take it from uh, zero abscissa to one abscissa right it's from zero to one instead of taking it from minus two to zero then from zero to one on the y-axis we take it integral from zero to one what is the rule of shell method it's integral from a to b of two pi right the radius times the height the x okay <clears throat> what is the okay it's from zero this one is one here it's from zero to one two pi what is the radius and what is the height and time is over uh, no we still have time maybe still running let, let me continue okay so it's two pi radius simply since it rotates around x equal one this means the radius is one minus x <coughs> the radius the radius is the whole one right minus a value a certain value of x right minus a certain value of x this means it's uh, one minus x and the height the height is simply is simply it's the height from this curve to that curve from this curve to that curve from this curve 
to that curve from the upper curve which is y equal x square minus the lower curve which is minus 3x square plus 2